Easter, everybody. Hope everybody had a good Easter. I had a pretty busy day. Time to settle down. Earlier on, I kind of meant to uh, do some eye racing, but I got distracted. But we're back. 
Right on time, too. Imagine that. 8 o'clock. I'm kind of in the mood for this. Last night's gameplay was pretty cool. NAS Fix starts in two hours. I won't have to worry about that, although I am in position to do something about it if Rob or Jay shows up. Speaking of which, let me look and see if somebody's here. Oh, yeah, nobody's there. I'm going to get a hold of Jay tomorrow. I hope he's all right. I didn't like him to miss all this good racing. All right. Deverlund, how is life in Sweden? I could ask Cargo Boom, but he's not here. Let's see where we left off. Yeah, down here. This is about where I got jumped. I do have a ship contact at a bearing of 300, so... I'm going to see if I can figure out what it is out there. Ship spotted 278. Let's see if I can find him. Oh, it's those little guys. Let's take a left turn, go over there, and kill him. I see two of them out there. I upped the difficulty level for myself. I can't... Oh, by the way, there's some news here in the war. Be advised, U.S. Task Force, to land on Marshall Islands. All nearby patrol craft requested to assist. The siege of Leningrad is lifted after two years. Russia nearly completely liberated. For Germany, the end is very near. Yeah, 2 a.m. Do you Are you up overnight? I think you're up overnight, though. Otherwise, you're making me feel guilty about entertaining you this hour. You should be in bed. So, let's do... What's the best way to do this? We'll use time compression to get a little closer from on board the ship here. Wish it were a little bit easier to navigate, but it isn't too bad. You woke up two hours ago. Okay, yeah, you're good to go then. All right. That thing's already burning. Probably took damage in the storm. I can't even see him through that wave. I also turned off stabilization, so I actually have to fight the pitch and roll by manually aiming. Let's go to high explosive. That's my problem here. He's destroyed. Where's the other one? There was another one. Oh, he's over here to my side. I wonder if I can put some hits on him through the waves. He's destroyed. All right, back to my map view. Order these guys to go back on course. I'll look at the ship's log. I'm going to take credit for two ships sunk for 160 tons. Well, there's two fishing boats that won't be feeding the Japanese army for a while. Or ever again, for that matter. Um. Yeah. Things have been rearranged. I'm in my racing rig. Doesn't it suck right now at this exact moment? I'm starting to get hungry. Not what I needed. We'll find a way to deal with that later. I gotta decide what I even want to eat. I could ask you guys, but you don't know what I've got in the house, so it's pointless to ask my Twitch chat. What should I eat? Alright, good. Back to time compression. Well, 
Radar contact 337. I wonder if it's this stuff here. Let's go look at the radar. This is hard to deal with with this wheel in the way, though. It's comfortable here. I don't mind it, but... I was at 337, so it's going to be out here. There must, they're going to be at some quite some range. That's a group of ships. That's way too big of a blip for it to be one ship. There's four ships there. Maybe more. You know, I'm going to check something here in a minute. <laughs> In this drawer that you guys can't see. Where is it? I got the box copy of Silent Hunter that I bought back at the day. I had to buy it again. There's hardly any light here. Um... Let me see if I can figure this out, you guys. God, I'd figured it out once, and I can't believe it. I'm looking at this cheat sheet, and it doesn't even show you. I want to get over to that, that PPI, they call it. I cannot believe it. I think I'm going to take a black sharpie and just write that shit right smack on the wall if I ever figure it out again. Fire, fire, fire. Open and close torpedo tubes. Cycle tubes. It's not on the reference card. You think I found it by reading the manual. Let's put this in the light so I can see it. No, I can't see that in the dark. It's tiny print. Remember when I was younger, I could read this manual in any kind of lighting, but things are different now, man. It's amazing what 17 years will do to you. It's even hard to turn the pages. They just want to turn 50 at a time. I'm so not used to printed manuals anymore. Everything's PDF in modern times. This is a riot. Yeah, it's pointless. It's really nice because when you're... When, when I move over to that station, I wonder if I can click on it. It's too bad you can't just click on this station. If I right-click, it takes me to the previous. I don't know how to go to the next station. You know, I mean, it's... clumsy as hell. So these guys are about 20 miles to my northwest. I'll use time compression here and just kind of watch them. Do 
Doing 14 knots. Let's turn to the left. Try to get him more in front of me and try to catch up with him. Are we within 20,000 of them? Barely. They're out ahead by about 10 miles. So let me mark that point. I have to do my own plot now, which I kind of don't like. They're right about here. Let's go back and look. Okay, this, um, that formation of enemy ships has definitely taken shape. I'm quite certain they're going ahead to the left here. They're about westbound. I use time compression here to get the turn done. Why am I, even at 32 time compression, why am I not getting by him? I'm kind of am. This takes a long time this way. God, man. It's slowed down to 8x. That ship looks like he's a little bit wider. He might be suspicious of me. I'm getting out here in front of him. I'll go all the way around once, just to make sure there's nothing kind of sneaking up on me from the other direction. Alright, right now I am uh, <clears throat> straight to the left of the lead escorting destroyer, who's kind of gotten out ahead of the rest of the formation. He's probably spooked. I'm. Uh, do you have no food, Deverland? I don't like the sound of that, man. I hope it isn't because you're broke. I hope it's just because you're not shopping. Alright. I gotta take a look at the weather out there. I got out ahead of that formation. They're behind to my right. If I want, I can turn to an intercept course. Look where I ended up. I gotta be careful. There's land there. Sitting there playing with radar, I'm just about ready to beach myself. So they're probably about... Um, they were there. I'm gonna plot another line. Where I think they're going. Based on the radar. I think they're about 10. God, where would they be? 20, they would they'd be about 10 miles. They'd be about here. You have to suffer till 7 a.m. I know here in the United States, 
now that COVID's over, there's supermarkets open. If you live in a smaller area, you know, small cities, it's probably not easy. Let's take a sweep. Oh, they're behind me. Okay, now I have my orientation right. Let's plot that. Let me erase this doodle. I wonder if they're going away from me. What if I return to course at standard speed? I might be, um, all right, now I'm going to take a look again, see where they're at. Where would they be going? I think... I think they're I think they're westbound still and I went too far. I think they might be on a plot about like this. And they may be right about here on that plot. Let's turn back to the south. Let me see my torpedoes. I'm fully loaded. God, I hate to waste Mark 23s on a blind shot. All right, I'm going to go use time compression here. And... Now they should be closer ahead to my left. Yep, yep, there they are. They're ahead to my left. You can see them there. Gonna turn off the radar for a minute. Um, they've moved. Now they're in... If I can get it to select the damn tool. They're probably right about here. We'll turn a little to the right. Or head to my left. Where are they? And why did the radar turn off? Did I do that? I'm, I'm all confused. I'm not reading this data right, I don't think. Let's wait. Let it continue to sweep. Yeah, they're ahead to my left. And they're going from my left to my right, so they're definitely westbound. Yes, sir. New course. Two, two, seven. I think they're actually further south than that plot line, but I'll leave the plot line there. Alright, I've moved up on them. Let's see where they're at. Oh yeah. Single contact. Bearing. Two. Seven. Nine. If you were to imagine this is a miniature plot board, they're moving f from behind to my left, straight in this direction, into my other formation. I'm going this way, right up the zero line, and they're moving across like this. We're going to meet right about there. 
And that is approximately seven miles. So let me figure out how far away seven miles is. It can't be seven miles unless... I wonder if they're over here somewhere. I don't know, man. If you look at this, there's land out there, but... I'll scooch ahead. I'll get closer to that land. They're on the other side of these little islands. Long range. Sun's about to rise. Yeah, I guarantee it they're past that. What's that blip? Single ship out there on radar. All right, so you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm not gonna bother with them. They're wasting my time. I'm gonna return to course. Standard speed. The weather isn't favorable anyways. Might have to turn that feature back on. That shows them on the plot. It's kind of too much work to play the game this way with this much with this level of realism. Okay, we'll refit. Nice full tank of gas. And now we will proceed to my assigned search area. And go look for targets. I'll do a save game patrol. Yes, we'll overwrite. What's the seas like? Alright, we've made it past the storm, which is nice. Let's plot a course to that radio report. I'm actually going to report my position here. And we will use time compression until he's spotted or picked up by my radar. Sound contact, merchant moving slow, closing at three, four, six. Contact, merchant, close bearing, three, four, six, long range. Um, yeah, let's look and see what we got out there. Hey, he's out ahead of me. I'll use time compression to close in on him. Basically, I'm going straight at him. Could be coming up behind him. No, he's coming towards me. I'll go two thirds ahead. We'll close faster. Let's see if I can hear him. We'll get this set up. Nope, no sound yet. The merchant is spotted. Maintain orders.
Where are they? They're going to be out ahead of me according to radar. Let's close this down to 8,000 meter range. There's a number of dots out there. I don't think there's more than the one actually. Pretty much dead ahead. Oh, you know what? That's a little sub chaser. Couple of them. Well, we could pull the plug. It's 0543 hours. I can barely see him on the horizon. Barely. It's just a pixel. We'll submerge here. We'll sail after him for a little time here. You know what? There's a merchant here. Let's um, raise the periscope. See if he's got guns. Yeah, he's got a gun on the... St we'll turn hard to port here. Let's take a peek at him and figure out what kind of ship he is. Alright, I got a pretty good idea of what we're looking at. Bring the periscope down. I'll save time by not lowering it all the way. Stern funnel. And the cranes on his two masts face each other like that. A small old engine aft. He should have three lifeboats externally mounted. Yep, that's him. Gosh, let my mouse go. I hate the way that this thing is interfaced. What's up, gamer kid? I'm doing good. I hope you had a good Easter. If you celebrate Easter, I certainly do. Probably about like this. I'm going to throw a dart and say he's doing seven knots just to get something in the torpedo bearing transmitter. He'll have a draft of 15 feet, so I'll use stern torpedo to. Well, which torpedoes are where? That's a Mark 18. I'm going to save those. I'm going to go to tube six. Not tube six. I'm doggone. I'm looking at all the wrong stuff. It is tube seven that I want. Seven and eight. Yes, sir. Runner. Yes, sir. Runner. Stop. Tube eight. Now open. I'll go twelve feet of depth. We are ready to attack. Actually, let's go ahead one third and get back on the right rudder. I turned too much. It's not going to be a good shot the way I'm angled. Yeah, but that's not a sub chaser right there, though. The sub chaser isn't that close, apparently. Let's go a little higher with this thing so it quits doing that crap.
what speed does this have it at? Four knots? I doubt it. It looks faster than that. I will put six in, though, for now. He isn't really going fast. That's a fact. So he knows I'm here. He's turning away. I more or less blew this attack. The mousing is so freaking sticky and clumsy in this game, you can't hardly believe it. I'll go ahead and kick off a torpedo. Let's go see if it hits. It's on target. He's destroyed. Since I'm underwater, I'll go to my hydrophone and I'll take a 360 sweep with it. We'll listen and see if they've got something out there. Behind to my right. So I will erase this doodle. We'll work our way back to my assigned patrol area. It's 0602 hours. Let me take credit for the damage I just did, which isn't too terribly impressive, unfortunately, but you gotta take credit for what you can what you can when you can do it. So, 15, 70, this is such a pain in the butt, actually, plus that 160, I'm up to three ships at 1730. Ah, man, that is so cool. Having kids at Easter, watching them enjoy that Easter egg hunt. That is fun. I, I miss it. Miss being a kid and doing those sorts of things. Sound, Warship. Medium speed closing, 322. I'll go for him for a few minutes, and then I will listen to see if he's on his way to me. I had him behind to my left. Where'd he go? That's my screws. There's me underwater. Graphics are sweet. So, yep, there's the two sub chasers. So let's go, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Then we'll take another listen. I'm 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 pulling away from them. They're about straight behind me, but they're not they're not in pursuit by any means. Oh, look at that. Enemy task force. Let me save attack.
What's his speed? It's 0930 hours. So that was four minutes ago that that report snuck in on me. It's going for this gap, so... Yeah, we're going to go attack a task force. It's probably like that. Let's move this. It's 15 miles away. We're going to blow ballast, go full speed ahead. We're going to get out ahead of them here. I don't know if I need to get that far ahead, but... I want to know what two nautical miles looks like for scale. That's certainly going to be far enough ahead of him. I will leave. Let me make sure it's off. Yeah, it's off. Is there an option to tell this thing not to automatically reload torpedo tubes? That would actually be convenient. I'm not going to worry about it now, though. Um, okay. Let's move into attack position. Let's make sure that the battery charger quit. battery charger did not quit um, well it's I still need a charge so I see why it did that but what are the seas like glassy smooth let's go to periscope depth and go ahead at two-thirds head slow Sound contact, warship medium speed closing 074. So 074 is about this direction. So they're probably... I'm just going to put a mark there. I don't know for sure that that's where they're at, but that's probably where they're at. I'm going to move my plot forward a little bit. I'm going to go have a listen myself. Closing. Bearing. Seven. Four. Long range. That's something big. I will continue forward at, I don't know, two and a half, three knots. Yes, sir. Bird speed, two. Yes, sir. I think I actually want to be a little further ahead than that. I'm going to go forward just inside of a mile. No, just a little bit north of a mile is probably be better. Right about here. All right. Let's move into that spot. Let's look outside using the cheat view. What's going on? This saves you time. We're close. Waypoint reached. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my goodness. I did too much time compression. They got a... They got a Yamato out there. Look. I knew I heard something big. I hit the wrong key because I can't see my keys from, you know, the way that I'm sitting. Let's see if I can get out from under him. I'll take a look at how much damage I took. Those last bombs were in... Oh, he didn't drop. He dropped over there. Passing thermal layer. Yes, sir. 
Good for silent running. Yes, sir. No course. Two hundred feet would be good enough. There I am, hiding in the murk. Let's go up and see what's out there. Alright, since it is a Yamato... I'm just going to set some things here real quick. Why is that doing that? Oh, that's because where my freaking periscope's facing. Let's face it, north. Or, you know, ahead. There, that's going to be about right. Let's get set up for a torpedo attack on Yamato. She's got a deep keel, 35.4 feet. I wonder if these torpedoes are going to blow up if I put them underneath. I'm going to try. With tubes one and two, I'm going to go underneath it. Just by a foot or two. But, for these other torpedo tubes, I'm just going to put them down there nice and deep, maybe 28 feet. Dang. The time control gets out of hand. I'm going to blow ballast just to get up quick. And I have to watch my depth because, you know, while you're coming up like a bobber, you got to stop blowing ballast yeah, a little earlier than the surface because you don't want to pop up. Okay. I'll order periscope depth. Let's see if I timed this right. So I'm getting pinged. That's to be expected. I'm getting pinged a lot. I'm gonna go ahead full here. I'll order midships. I'm surfaced enough to get this over the water line, I think, at 61 feet. Okay, so Yamato is right there. Let me get the recognition manual up, tell it that that's what I've got, and let's start clocking in on that Yamato. I'm probably pretty much dead abeam. He's going slower than the speed I have plotted. So he's probably going 10 maybe. I'll clock him. That's that's got him clocked at 11. I think I'm going to be able to take one last set of readings. 11 is correct. I'm going to speed the next torpedo up based on a 12 knot speed. Torpedoes are away. I took a lot of damage here. Let's maintain this depth. Secure from silent running. 
Let's get the damage control parties going. Let's go look at the damage. Doesn't look terrible, thankfully. Let's go down to 200 feet. No flooding. That's good. That's real good. My periscopes are damaged, so... I don't have propulsion right now. Passing thermal layer. I've rung up uh, full speed here. Oh, I'm getting torpedo hits. Let's go watch. Current depth one four zero. Oh yeah, your model's taking hits. Right in the torpedo belt. Let's mark the spot. This freaking crappy interface will work. Oh, we're out of diesel. We lost a lot of fuel out of those bunkers. Still hard to port. Still making three knots. How much compressed air do we have? Can't use my periscopes. Oh, I do have flooding in the control room. Repair, repair team priority. We gotta fix that bulkhead. Let's move this bulkhead up. God, it's so clumsy. Too bad you can't just drag and drop it. This bulkhead I want worked on first, though. I'm watching my depth carefully. The main pump we want fixed. I hear their ships over top of me, but there's nothing I can do about it. And this bulkhead's got big problems, so we'll move that one up in the repair priority. Battery's down to 10%. No fuel, no battery. Yes, sir. We're going to have to blow ballast. Can't go much deeper than 330 feet without taking pressure damage. It's a lot of flooding. <clears throat> no fuel, no battery. We blown the ballast and we're still sinking. We're dead. It just shows your ship, it doesn't show it explode or anything. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Load game. Yeah, the um time compression ran away from me. That's what the problem was there, so we'll just reload. <clears throat>
Oh, no, man, it's getting boring. When you have to plot manually, it's just way too much work. I'm going to have to go turn down the heat, too. It's going renegade. What is the temperature outside? We're about to get rain overnight. <clears throat> Not much, but... This is Michigan. I have a nickname for Michigan. I call it the land of the eternal winter. Winter never ends in Michigan. And in Michigan, when the weather ends, it just turns around and it's winter again right away anyway. So it just, this place just sucks. The only thing I like about it is my mom's here. She loves this place. God only knows why. So, we'll just get the submarine generally going in this direction again. So we know what we got. Yamato is here. Had a pretty good attack on him earlier. It's just they got way too close. Because I'm trying to save time with time compression, it just went, you know, crazy on me. So I'm going to attack from there. I don't make sure to put down another save point. Yeah, but that full realism was fun back in the day, but I'm not liking it anymore now. I don't want to do that. I don't want an arcade either, but... Still got good C. Sometimes when you save the game and reload it, it comes back in the middle of a storm that wasn't there before. It's it's random. Let's go ahead full. Get out here ahead of them. Moving very fast, moving away. I'll stop for a minute and I have to do this all manually, which is kind of a drag, but... Ooh, they're straight to my right, but that's okay because I'm kind of coming in on an angle. And I just want to make sure that I don't hear, wish, 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 you know, a uh, destroyer with super high speed screws. Because if he is, you want to, you know, keep your eye out for it. That guy's probably chasing you down. Like that one. That is a very, very fast destroyer straight to my right. Which should put him, you know, right about here. I'm going to go maybe 15 minutes and listen again. 10 minutes. I'm going to do this at 10 minute intervals so I don't overshoot again. Man, he is really hauling ass. Yes, Let's get that crew to action stations. They'll be a little more vigilant. The, the deck about watching for contacts and stuff like that when you've got them on alert. Let's have another listen. That is probably the Yamato. Ship spotted. Ship spotted. That one four zero. Yep, yep. They must have radar. They're shooting at me. Check it out, you guys.
they're they're firing. All right, let's um take it down to 250. And I'll move my intercept point. Yes, sir. Return. Yes, sir. Let's hide. How did they detect me? I don't think I had my radar on, although this will shut off when I go underwater pretty automatically. So I could have had that on. I don't think I did. I had surfaced from periscope depth. Take her deep. Let's go real deep. I wonder if I go to 350 feet, if, if I'll do damage. This right here is kind of the, you know, small scale depth meter. Or when you want to, you know, be real accurate or when you're around periscope depth. This one over here is the one that shows the higher scale. Got a green board. It's way too late to do anything about that. You got it. He's nodding at me. He's checking out the map. That's him talking. He's telling me the depth. That's my um, my first officer there. What's up, Spook? I'm not too far from New Zealand right now. I'm operating out of Australia at the moment, as it turns out. I'm not in a good situation, though. There's lots of destroyers chasing me. Will this let me go below? No. My chief won't let me go below uh, test depth. Let's see how close they're getting. Current depth, three, four, zero. No, I am going deeper. I'm at three, four, zero. Let's see how close they are. Not too terribly close. That's about 2,300 yards. I don't mind pinging them. They already know I'm here. And they're too far away to home in on active sonar to... That's Yamato, I'm quite sure. Let's see how far away those guys are. They're beyond 5,000 yards. Okay. I'll use my cheat view because it's exciting. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Let's go to silent running. 
Because they know I'm kind of in this area. This is where they lost track of me. Sorry about the ads, you guys. I know how I, I, it tells me that the ads are there, and it's it's so irritating, the freaking ads. I like them. They pay my internet bill, especially if I stream often enough to get viewers. Let's have a listen and see if uh, they've alerted behind me. I want to turn off automatic torpedo loading. I knew there was an option somewhere. I just... Okay, their screws are pretty slow. That means they've lost you. When they spool up those those screws, and you hear them going, whoosh, 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 you hear, you hear that throttle, they're coming. It's going to be hard to get an attack on these guys now, though. Let's come up to 250 feet to be safe. I think the thermal climb, I think it said passing thermal layer, I can't remember exactly, but it was right around 150 feet or maybe even less. It's, which means probably about, you know, 60, 70 feet lower than that, a keel depth of about 210, 220. I'm going to 250. It's well below. You just don't want part of your ship above the thermal cline, or they will detect that. A thermal cline is a temperature layer between the warm surface water and then a cold layer down below. And it's an interesting phenomena there where those two layers meet at, let's just say, arbitrarily 150 feet of depth. Their active sonar will ping down, trying to locate you. It will hit that and bounce off in another oddball direction. They won't get an echo. You know, they won't know that they've detected anything. So, and the opposite's also true. When you're below it making noise, reloading torpedoes, or running a little faster than silent running, your sound that's trying to go up hits that and bounces back down. So... You're, you're very difficult to detect when you're that deep. That's a merchant. That'll be an oiler. That's probably a 10,000 ton um, oil tanker with fuel for the ships. Let's see if I'm within 5,000 yet. That was a long time. The meter to measure and tell you the distance stopped, but you can still listen and wait for the boom, you know, the echo to come back. So... They are probably... I'm going to say eight or 9,000 yards out, so they're, they're within 10 miles. Let's listen and see how close the destroyers are. They might have picked up my ping. They're hauling ass. Let's go take a look. There I am. So the ping kind of gave me away a little bit. You can see they're, they're in the area. If I surface now, or well, at least go to periscope depth, they're going to detect me. So what I'm trying to do is sneak away from them as best I can. I don't hear reports, so I don't think that they've dropped depth charges. You would clearly hear them at that distance. They're close. Those guys are within, you know, 1,000 or 1,500 yards. Let's go figure out where those guys are. There's the big daddy at about 6'5". Okay. 
zero six five. That's not the tool. This is the one I want. So they're at zero six five, roughly on this angle. And if my original predicted course is accurate, and it's probably not that far off, they're probably somewhere within a half a mile of here. They're somewhere in this circle. So if I'm patient, and I stay quiet, I'm doing three knots, they're doing at least triple that. So in the time it takes me to go you know, that two miles, they're going to make six miles. So, six miles looks like this. That's if they're doing nine knots, and they're probably going a little faster than that. Probably not much. I think the last time I attacked them when I died, what speed did I have them at? I think I had them at 11, so they might make eight miles. Let me mark eight miles. I want to see what eight miles looks like. You know, so they're going to be between six and eight miles. This is what six miles looks like on the chart. They're going to be somewhere between here and here, but on this line. So, God, I hate these mouse clicks. They're probably going to be, they're easily going to be within this circle at about the time I reach my two mile destination. And I'll have a shot on them. It'll be a th long shot, but I'll have a shot. Let's listen and see what the destroyers are up to. They're at speed. One of them is searching in the distance. He broke off. So he's probably working his way back over here. He's probably traveling northeast to go rendezvous with them. The other two are probably still here. And they're fast and they're still right frickin' there. Nope, they're not. They're not right on top of me. They're a little further than I thought. Just barely, you can see their blinkers. Let's fly out here with my god mode drone. Yeah, you can see that the one... Yeah, they're at speed, they're returning. That's what I thought they were doing. This one got a head start, but these two are also returning. And they have surface search radar. Let me see if the ships actually show that or not. What ships do we have here anyways? That one I'm not sure about. Fubuki maybe? This is Akizuki. It has very distinctive guns. And that one I think is Minikaze. Alright, so I'm going to use time compression and advance 10 minutes and take another listen. You have to be super careful. You can run that time compression, then next thing you know you're just dead because in that period of time something happened and they figured you out. Where are the destroyers? They're at a leisurely pace. Something out there's got screws going. No, I was on the surface. Sonar can't detect you when you're surfaced. They're getting to where they're 30 degrees, 40 degrees out ahead of me. Wow. Let me find the big ship. 
That's the big ship. That's Yamato. He's at 060. I should have wrote down the time that I took that measurement. Because I can use that to calculate their speed. I want to leave that one alone. I want a new one. Zero six zero looks like this. I'm kind of in good attack position. They've moved from here. They're now here. Okay, I still want to stay deep for the time being, although, you know what? I'm going to need to surface by this point. Not surface, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to risk it. It's kind of, you know, there's nothing near me. I can probably come to periscope depth and not get pinged. Watch this depth meters. Okay, I'm coming up to periscope depth. I don't hear pinging. That's a good sign. Let's take a listen. Oh yeah, they're right there. Big Daddy's close. You can hear how loud... Not only his screws have a whoosh, 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 big, you know, she's got some loud, slow, big, lumbering screws, but there's like a hiss, the sound of her turbines. That warship is at, uh, I don't know, I'm going to call it 053. I'll borrow this one. And 053 puts her here. These two doodles I don't need anymore. And now they're about here, traveling in this direction. I can delete that one. Gosh, still a pretty long shot, but this is a very careful attack, by the way. Take a look around. That's more behind me. That's straight to the right. That's to the left. They're still far enough away. I can't see them. Is it hazy? playing the exciting music oh yeah there's one oh yeah we're coming in we're coming in that's a battleship right there probably fuso and that's a cruiser a tago class maybe myoko class you don't have to worry as much you can be spotted and shot at by them for god's sakes but they don't have sonar the cruisers So, I'm going to put in about a 45 degree angle here. I'm going to plug in that they're doing 11 knots. They're probably at about 0, 0.50. 0, which puts them actually here at about um, 40 degrees angle on bow. And the range is well outside of this range, but... I can't really fix that just yet. So the torpedo bearing transmitter is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't 
sink my talons into the Yamato. Second attempt. Yeah, there's the Fuso. I'm pretty sure that's what I see in the in the mist. It could be Issei. I don't think it's a Congo. Congo doesn't have a you know second you know a, as big of a pagoda as its second island. But there's Yamato, 35.4 feet. So I think the last time I attacked, trying to get the magnetic influence to go off, those didn't operate again. But we will do two torpedoes, tubes one and two, at 34 feet, even. Those will be close. And just to be safe, I'm going to bring it back to 33 feet. But for torpedo tubes three, four, five, and six, I'll go a little bit more than half of that. I'll go with about 22 and a half feet. That would be probably good. Did I go to 30? Yes, I did. And these I want at 22 and a half feet. Contact pistols. So I have six torpedoes ready to go. I'll just get these torpedo tubes open. Things are gonna happen fast in a minute. Do a quick few minutes of time compression. Jump ahead real quick. Before I stick this out of the water, let's listen. It's at 45 degrees right now. else that I was hearing there. There's Yamato. We'll lock the target. Yamato battleship. I'll start taking readings on her. Let's clock her. That says six knots. That's incorrect. All right, the torpedo bearing transmitter is now clocking data, as you can see in the top left. What I'm going to do is wait until this little white arrow here, the bow torpedo gyro angle, I'm going to wait till that gets closer to maybe 15 degrees. Then I'm going to go up and take final measurements and conclude the attack. I'm going to launch torpedoes. I might want this running. I want to see the clock. my gyro angle. It's down to 20 degrees. So let's see if he's actually at 20 degrees. Because if he's further ahead than 20 degrees, then I've got his speed. Yeah, look at he's way back there. He isn't doing 11 knots. He is going slow. But now we'll have a good accurate clock on him. 2100. No, 11 knots is his speed because it, it didn't jump. 35, that's going to be 55 degrees. Let's clock him again. See, that says 8 knots. I'm sure he's doing 11. Yeah, 
I'll fire two torpedoes at a 10 knot speed just in case. I'll take another set of readings. That says nine knots, but I'll take one more set of readings for the final two torpedoes. 2100 speed nine. Let's clock him. That says seven knots. I'm going to stick with 10 for this one. And this torpedo tube, I'm going to time at 11 knots. And we will dive. Okay, there's the last two torpedoes I fired. The first two should be close by now. Wow, he is going slow. Son of a gun. I got a couple of them timed for a slow speed, though. These two are going to be hits. Let's go watch Yamato take a big hit here. Where's the next two? I'm beating the hell out of the bow of this ship, I'm telling you. She should start taking water up front and slow her down. Thermal layer is at 145 feet. Man, I am shredding that bow. She should start to go down by the bow. That is a lot of torpedo hits on just the bow. She's burning up there, too. Ah, uh, she commanded to stop. Let me plot another line here. What's my depth over there? About 175. We're still diving. I can see that the the bow planes and the stern planes are still on dive. <sighs> Let's go take a look at her. Yep, she's a wounded duck. I got stern tubes left. I'm going to go deep to go underneath of her and then pop up on the other side. She's still got a lot of engine power, man. I definitely overestimated her speed, and that does suck. Because I, I like to put some torpedoes into the stern and um, slow the engines down. I don't know about you guys, but I like shooting at sitting ducks. She looks slow from here, though. This will be the second time I've caught and sunk the IGN Yamato. And the second time it has taken me two attacks to do it. One of the things I should put on my scorekeeper is how many times I've died. I think I'm up to maybe three. That was unheard of before. 17 years ago when I was really into this game, I played it on maxed out everything in terms of realism and difficulty and just never died. Well, I mean, I did when I was learning and getting to that point, but... Freaking sweet. It's making me want to play World of Warships. These, these ships don't look bad, but they don't look good. World of Warships, they flat out look good. Let's take a look around. Anybody coming? There is a destroyer not far from me. Oops, sitting in the wrong keys. I hate it that I can't see my freaking keyboard. It's under my steering wheel. My arm's starting to hurt from mousing too because I got to reach in a weird angle. I got to set this stuff up on a desk. I would love to surface on hard left rudder and take a snapshot 
at that ship with my rear torpedo tubes. I'm going to turn 45 degrees to the left. But yeah, there's a destroyer coming. He's moving slow. They know the attack came from the port side of these ships. I think that's about all the flooding they're going to do up front. Having all that extra weight of water on board, though, and that bow down deep like that, it's slowing her down. There's that whining sound from her turbines. I wished I'd have hit those turbines, man. Or big ass propellers. How did they build that ship? I mean, you don't just have three or four guys walk into the water with these propellers and put them on them. I, I have no idea how they do the things that they do to these ships. Putting propellers on, taking propellers off, fixing the rudders. Yeah. Let's have a listen. There's her turbines. Yes, sir. No course. Two, nine, two. Yes, sir. Let's see if I can see anything from down here. I'm at 200 feet. It's not super deep, but it's pretty deep. Compared to the German U-boats, American submarines can only go a fraction of the depth that those can achieve, about a third. So, let's do time compression for a few minutes. Let's see where we ended up. Yeah, they're just flat out getting away from me. Where's the big girl, though? Yeah, already the tail and Charlie. The destroyers are already here, you know? Put her down by the bow, but she survives. Let's go to the south. So I think... Oh, that's the wrong station. Whoa. I need to surface and make a run for it, but I don't know if that's going to work because I got detected on the surface. Let's go southwest. Yes, sir. Because I hear something to the south by southeast. There's a destroyer out there, and I want to surface not next to him. So I will erase some of these doodles. I'll put a mark where I conducted this attack. And then I'm going to extend... My plot line. And then I'm going to mark what about eight nautical miles looks like. And I'll go ahead and plot a few points here. I'm going to stay submerged until this point here. I'll do a little save and you know in case something happens. I'm gonna use time compression to save time though. What time is it? Only 9.30, good.
Okay, here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's start reloading. That's Mark 18s. I'll put those two in tubes 5 and 6. Get my crew going on the reload. I'll stay at general quarters until I pop up out of this... Out of this murky depths. I should be a long ways away from threats. The threats are kind of in, you know, that direction. And I'm nine miles away or so, if not more. so much fun. It's challenging, man. I like a challenge. Alright, we're on the surface. Let's open up to full speed. Let me make sure we're taking a charge. We are. I wish you could mouse over it and it tell you, because this yellow looks almost like that yellow, but it's charging. Water guys rest for a little bit, except for the guys that are working on these torpedoes up front. And... Let's use time compression to move ahead. Compressed air is back to 100%. Why my guys... What happened? The ship stopped. Have I got crew problems? Do I have to go manage the crew? Everybody's sleeping! These guys are sleeping on the job. Are you kidding me? The whole ship. They're all asleep. Oh, well. Let me put a couple of guys in the control room here. That are still awake. See if we can get our, our ship underway here. Health and fatigue. The fatigue doesn't look bad on them. What's the propulsion, guys? Maybe I do need to recruit at this difficulty level. This is strange. Their fatigue isn't bad. They're just freaking sleeping. The frick? Wake your ass up. Go to work. Cargo boom! You know what, cargo boom? There's a Swedish guy here named Deverlund. He's from Sweden, too. You can talk to him in Swedish. I think he speaks Swedish, too. Look how weird this is. Let's at least get my first watch. Woke up. See, now they're woke up. Can't you just double click them to make them wake up? No, you take them out of their station, then put them back. They're not even fatigued, they just went to sleep. What in the heck? Have you ever? Okay, so with all my engine crew, everybody, I got to get the conning tower going. That is weird. And look at, to wake them up, you just put them on the damage control party team and then you take them off. Good to go. They're out there getting the job done again. Unreal. Their 
fatigue numbers aren't even high. Health is perfect. Efficiency is there. Hey, man, how are you doing? I hope you had a great Easter with your kid. And tactical stoner. Things are going good, man. I'm really in good shape. Things are going real good. You're going to stop doing open wheel on iRacing. Why? Oh, yeah, 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 I see what you mean. Yeah, it's... You're also doing it on a holiday weekend when no people who don't normally race are... Well, they're out there racing. Okay, we're back to full speed. I am going to run my radar for a minute. Try to see where that convoy is. Did I get past him already? Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I lost him. That wouldn't surprise me. Am I going to hit the ground here? Radar contact 027. I hope I don't have to dive because that close to land. Let's see what the depth here is. 500 feet, so I can dive in that. Yeah, there's there they are, guys. About half of 80,000. That puts them at about 40,000, which puts them at about 20 miles ahead. Oh, yeah. How about you, Tactical? I'm hoping things is going good, man. Did you get to spend it with your lad? Forex and a meatball just touching. Yeah, I mean, iRacing's not that much fun, dude. It's just way... They, they, they made it way too difficult. Their idea of making it a sim is to make it impossible to play. You know, brilliant idea, right? That's, that's iRacing. All right, so they're outside of 20,000. I'm going to put them at about 30. And how are we doing on torpedo reloads? Why is that going so slow? I might not be able to use my bow tubes on them. Getting sound contacts now, so we're closing in on them. Let me make sure. Let me check that. Good. That's not running. That's good. I'm getting chased again. Where are they? Oh, to the right. Load game. Hey, I was going to give you a ring after all the Easter festivities have passed, JC Esports. It's good to see you. How have you been, Jay? This is Silent Hunter 4. I've been playing this for several weeks. I'm starting to get bored of it, though. Um, I wonder if I can... If there's a... No, I can't do it. That's a binary. Yes, sir. I'm getting to where I want to do something else. So... Well, 
Hang on a minute, it's not following my course. Let's reload it. Sitting there wasting time. You're watching the race in Richmond. Why did I thought somebody was saying there was rain in Richmond? I didn't know they were racing. But yeah, Jay, I got tied up today for obvious reasons. I was going to start working on, I'll do it tomorrow though, for sure. You can see I've changed the cameras and monitors. I'm, I'm going to race it. I'm going to get out on uh, Martinsville and start working on that setup tomorrow. See if this thing's gonna go take a course heading that I need or not. I told it to resume course. It's just driving around in frickin' circles. Yeah, this game's starting to piss me off. It's kinda not working. <sighs> well, we'll try it again. They don't have rain tires in NASCAR. That I know of. Maybe they do. I don't follow NASCAR that much anymore. It's... Honestly, I haven't really followed NASCAR since, well, Dale Sr. died. And it isn't that NASCAR went downhill because Dale Sr. died. I mean, it, it did in certain respects. But I, um... Can't go that fast with the screws that close to a destroyer. He'll hear me. Why isn't it going on the freaking... What the hell? Yes, sir. It says, yes, sir, returning to course, and then he starts driving in circles. There it goes. Rick for silent running, it wasn't even silent running. Let's secure from silent running. We'll stay deep here for a little bit because it just doesn't hurt to do that. Secure from battle stations. Let's surface. Then I have to go play around because it's glitched out and my crew all went to bed. Everybody but the deck watch. These guys up here are awake, just kind of hanging out. I don't know. Um, yes, sir. All stop. Twenty twenty two, Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen is a road course. They'll race in the rain on road. They install windshield wipers in the whole nine yards. Well, it'll be good to have you back, Jay. You know, Rob, he came and he tinkered online for, I don't know, an hour. He realizes that he can't just, after a hiatus, just disappear. And then spontaneously come back. You know, he knows. He knows he's got to practice and kind of get back into it. And yet he's not here practicing. So. God, look at this painful micromanagement. This is the stuff that ruins the fun. I, I remember blog posts and articles about this game back in the day. Talking about this crew management bullshit. That's what is really nice about World of Warships. You don't have to deal with crew at all. It's like they don't even exist. You have commander skills and that's it. This is as close to the crew as you get. <clears throat> Rebirth Island drops Wednesday. 
I doubt that. I really seriously doubt that. Um, DMZ is... Even to look at it, uh, I quit DMZ, and the reason I quit had nothing to do with the PvP. <clears throat> There's a ton of bugs. Koshai, which I love to go to. Koshai crashes 80% of the time when you try to go to it. And... They took the, you know, power level on the bots... And turn the knob from, you know, probably about 5. They broke the pin past the 10 and they got the bots up to about 15. They're trying to drive people away from it. They don't want people to play DMZ. They want them to go drop $70 on the DLC. Yes, sir. A yes, sir. But I wish you were right, Tactical. I wish DMZ would... I, I miss it. I love El Masra. I know eventually El Masra will be gone, as in gone, gone, gone. So... I'll watch and see for the battery to get full. You know what I better do? It's another save. Let's have a listen. All right, Tactical. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Easter to you and the family. <clears throat> Happy Easter to all of you, by the way. For those of you who celebrate the holiday like I do. So... I'm going to be safer. Damn, man, that freaking stupid tool. The most worthless tool in the game. You have to click and wait with this game. It's just clumsy. I'm going to get more like 15 miles away from their plot. I just don't trust it. I keep getting detected and... I need to do a massive end around. Moving fast, moving away. There's a warship. I'm to the point where I can hear them. Bearing 082. Let's go see what that's all about. I'm definitely catching up to them. I'm abreast. They're over there between 080 and 085 relative, so... They're probably right about here. I'm actually going to make a note of this. Let me get to this other keyboard. At 1800 hours, mark one. I'll be able to estimate their speed. It won't be super accurate, but it will be better than nothing. This freaking keyboard's pissing me off. Save game attack. Resume. We'll use time compression to zoom by and hope I don't just suddenly die because they came after me while I was in time compression, but... Battery's 100%. Let's see if it stopped charging. It did. Fuel situation is still fine. Let's listen. I don't hear him. Not good. take a swipe with this, although you don't want to leave it on very long at all. They're to the point now where, A, they have radar. I know they are detecting me on radar, and I know that they can detect my radar. 
All right, let's turn it off. Now, for my next trick, we're going to go back like so. Let me see if I've reloaded torpedoes. Oh, I forgot to tell these guys to reload. Son of a gun. Can you believe this? It's okay. I got the stern tubes, but still, that just sucks. Because these things take forever and a day to load. And everybody's sleeping. Oh, that's okay for them to sleep. I'm on third watch. This is fine. Everything is, is, is good. Let's resave patrol. Let's go see if we can't go find my friends. Yep, yep. Relieve the watch. Relieve the watch. Okay, let's go look at my crew. Everybody's rested. This is so good. Bearing 066. So, they're there. I haven't lost them. They're going to be over here. How many torpedoes do I have up front? Almost all of them. Thank goodness. They're still on the plot line. Okay, that... Let me listen again. I'm going to figure something out here. Hang on, I'll show you how. That's the big injured ship lagging behind. So they're at about 078 degrees. So I'm going to go here... And I'm going to use the protractor. Come down my current course. Oh, they must have changed course. That's what 75 degrees looks like. There's no way they're here. Five miles away. They have changed course. I think. If that's the same group. Oh my goodness. They're going to have me running in circles. Let me plot another line from here. To maybe here? Let me go south. Three, four, three. Moving fast, constant distance. All right. Warship, constant distance. Bearing three, four, three. Long range. Wonder if that's them. Contact, merchant. Constant I think it is. Wait, 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 wait. That is an ordinary convoy. What's the seas like? Seas are rough. Son of a gun. Um. Constant distance. Moving fast, closing. Uh oh. Bearing 086. I'm going to look at him on radar. I'm going to cheat. I don't see him on radar. Come on, freaking game. Let's see if I can hear him. Well,
I think sonar. I can start doing these options. Follow nearest contact. Range to target. Report contacts. No sound contact. Okay. I, I think I've I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down to two thirds. I'm quite certain I've lost them. We have a radio report of an enemy task force. There's a convoy out there. There's a ship there. Let me erase some doodles. Yeah, that sucks. I just absolutely blew it. All right, everything's looking good. I'm just going to go get this stupid thing done. Alright, now that I'm here, I'm just going to slow down to two knots. Give it just a couple odd degrees of left rudder. Well, we don't need to do that just yet. Let's get into this area. Get right on top of it. That was a hell of a sneeze. Wow. Enemy task force reported. Nowhere near here, unfortunately. Yes, sir. Runner one. Yes, sir. I'm just going to circle. Why is... I give it a command to steer the rudder. And it's not steering the rudder. Is this a crew gone to sleep? What the frick is wrong with this freaking game? I'm not on that crew, though. I'm on this crew. They're awake. Yes, sir. New course. Two, seven, sir. Six. New message received. What are you trying to tell me now? The U.S. Marines have landed on the Marshals. Okay, so that's moving along at pace. I'll just circle for a couple of days till I get this crap done. The way these missions work is pretty stupid in this game. They, they could have come up with something better. Sound contact, warship, medium speed, moving away. I want to be able to see it on plot. They never even told me. My lookouts never even spotted it. Let's see what's going on out there. Let's go fight him. take out his guns.
let's go back. Auto save one on leaving base. I'm going to go back to in port. It's just too glitchy. This is unplayable. The lookouts never even said, you know, destroyers are coming. It's just a tired ass piece of shit this game is. I'll just look around at some stuff here. Yada, yada, yada. Somewhere in one of these fucking dumb places to click, there's options. Maybe it's abandoned career, no. Here, hmm. Gameplay settings. I'll do the map contact update. That'll help right there. Gotta have it. Yeah, it's impossible to play. And with the saving and the loading, I think it glitched it out. The, the crew doesn't even spot anything. That that ship was right on top of me. Crew were asleep. The ship would stop in the middle of the ocean. The funny thing is, I don't remember any of these bugs back when I used to play this game the first time around. Here, let me update the scorekeeper. It's boring me to death, honestly. Games that have bugs bore me. Because, well, obviously, they're not doing what they were supposed to do. They don't do what you expect them to do when you play the game. So, yeah. Tired. Tired also. That's a problem. One of the reasons why I came back to play this game is there's nothing to play. Games all suck right now. And this one was fine when it was working. It, it had been working up until, well, tonight. And there's lookouts on the deck. They're not even stopping you to say, hey, there's a warship right there. It's about the third or fourth time tonight that that's done that to me. So maybe we're done with this game. We'll move on. I want to play the game. I don't care if I get sunk or whatever. I just want to play the game. Meanwhile, yes, sir. Ahead, standard. Yes, sir. Let me get offshore here so it doesn't spot a bunch of allied ships. So I'm going to walk away for a quick minute. I do not have anything to drink here. Not a single bottle of water. And I have to fix that problem. Maybe I'll even make a little tiny something to eat. I might just really quickly make a bowl of cereal. I own... Not... I, I own U-Boat. And U-Boat is... You can't believe what a, what a uh, dumpster fire that game is. U-Boat is such a dumpster fire that you'll go on a mission and you'll have to go do something i don't know at some port in shallow water or whatever and you'll get nearby and all of the ai ships are crashing into each other there's there were there was i streamed it i was i was actually streaming what happened there's probably 30 or 40 ships all locked in together and let me zoom in on a base here Imagine I had to get to this little base here and take pictures or, you know, whatever the dumb little mission was. And you have to go at periscope depth and, you know, decks of wash. You have to sneak through these real shallow waters, to try to get there. But kind of right over here in a little out of the way corner, there's 30 enemy ships there that are going to spot you and, you know, kill you. And they're all stuck there and more keep coming in and getting stuck there. It was uh, U-boat shit, dude. It's unplayable garbage. And that sucks because it looks good. The guys, it's authentic. You know, it's real German speakers for the voiceovers in the game. They had a good, they had a great idea. They just, it's just so poorly executed. And it's just another example of how all games these days, every last game these days, are just complete and total unfinished shit. That's why I came back 17 years to play a game as, as buggy and weird as this game is with its weird problems. This is still 
far and away one of the best games that, well, that I still own. Now be advised, a U.S. task force to land on Marshall Islands. I'm going to get repeats of these. I'm basically going back. I've been streaming for two hours. I'm going back two hours in time in the hopes that all of the glitches and bugs are going to kind of quit with this reload. Also, I'm going to see plot markers on the map that are automated so I don't have to sit and figure it out. I don't want to do that. I, that's just one degree of realism too far. That was 17 years ago. 17 years ago, I would carefully plot out. I would figure out exactly where they were. I don't want to do that now. When was the last time I played U-Boat? About a year. Maybe they fixed those power problems. And you know, you got a point. Hang on a minute. Let's see if this is an enemy plane and if it's going to attack me. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead, flank. Ahead, flank. Hard left rudder. Hard see, now I can look on the map and, and know what's out there, you know, and not have to try to figure it all out, all realistic like. I mean, it's just. I'm turning towards him to foil his aim. There he is ahead of me there. <clears throat> I don't want to be a completely broadside target to him. I want to go off on about a 45 degree angle. My crew will start to shoot at him. very inaccurate drop and I hit him with a couple of 40 millimeter cannon shells he's going down well at least he's burning <clears throat> Hey, constantly diving away from planes. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, and a plane's going to come attack me. It's like whatever game. It would, it, you know, it wouldn't have been that hard for them to program the AI here to, you know, when you're near Japanese occupied territory, that's when you would get attacked more frequently. I see coming back and attacking again. No, he flew by. No, he did. Are my guys not going to shoot at him? I haven't got him yet, but oh well. Yeah, I want to be able to see those targets, and I don't need quite that level of realism just to stream the game and have fun. Yeah, there we go again. I will dive to periscope depth here. Well, actually, I'll dive down to 130 feet. That's the crash dive depth. And we'll slow it down. We'll stay underwater for a little while here, the duration of the day. Decker down, what's happening? I've never heard of the aisle, if I'm to be perfectly honest. Batteries down. I got a surface here and recharge batteries. Okay, so the battery recharge bug isn't happening, thankfully. All right, the siege of Leningrad is lifted after two years. Russia is nearly completely liberated. You know, there are some games that I play that I don't recommend to people. In fact, honestly, back in the day when I was busy playing... Um, Call of Duty, it's it's in that category. Call of Duty's not that good of a game. Uh-oh. Sound contact. Medium speed moving away. 
If that's a warship, what do we got out there? That is a sub chaser. Or two. That's a full blown destroyer. Let's avoid contact with him by navigating a course a little more to the east. See, that's more like it. Instead of really carefully plotting and figuring out if they're chasing me or not, I can just look. That's much more fun. And I will do a save here. Seas are silky, I can tell, because my depth and my speed isn't fluctuating. Alright, aircraft, let's crash dive. So 8.30 hours, so I'll, I'll just stay down until afternoon. We'll surface. Still there. Crash dive again. With that much air activity around here, I'm going to stay down for the rest of daylight hours. Let's surface. Fox traffic is received. Let's see what Fox traffic says. The U.S. Marines have landed on the Marshals. That's always nice. We'll go ahead two thirds. Zoom surface patrol. The row seas are rough now. I can see it fluctuating big time. Now I'm going to start picking up the sound contacts from friendlies at Mayo Swindy. Whoa, what's that? That's a medium speed convoy. Um, I'll let it go. If the seas weren't rough. I would go after him. But to try to plow through these rough seas at a medium speed convoy, it, it'd be hard to catch him. Not impossible, but hard. And yeah, just just isn't worth it. So what I'm going to do for right now is I'm just going to take maybe a quick little five minute break. I'll just leave my ship here at 1x compression. Nothing's going to happen in that uh, little bit of time. And I can see here I picked up uh, some new subs on YouTube. Appreciate you guys. YouTube doesn't do a real good job of like updating you and stuff. And honestly, a lot of that's my fault because I watch mainly Twitch. But uh, YouTube is ad-free, so if you guys want to watch the stream and not be interrupted by ads, feel free to watch on YouTube. Although I do get paid when you lurk here and I get the ad revenue, but I really kind of don't care about the money. For you guys to have a better experience, you're more than welcome to do the YouTube thing. So, anyway... That is definitely super cool. Let me pull up my phone a minute so I can take care of the stream. I use an app on the phone to control it. So, folks, take a little break your own cells, I guess. Cause I will be back within five minutes and um, we'll do the second half of my four-hour stream. We'll go till about midnight. Midnight's a good time for me to wrap it up and get to sleep for work tomorrow. All right, you guys, I'll be right back.
Jorge, thank you for the raid. How about that raider? I had stepped away for a minute there. <clears throat> Horse down a little bite to eat. Got a fresh bottle of water, but... We're back. Welcome, raiders. Holy cow. Let's shout him out. You guys probably already saw the shout out, but we're going to shout him out the other way, too. I got to tell you, Jorge, you have to wait 50 minutes, four seconds before giving him another shout out. What? Maybe it was because it was automatic. There was an automatic one that got kicked off by Stream Elements. That's probably what it is. I, I enjoyed watching your stream tonight, Jorge. That was cool. You actually made Counter-Strike look fun again. I might have to give it another try. It's a simple game in a way, but it's also very, very high skill ceiling. All right, let me get my bearings here a minute. I have just refit at a port here. Um, I'm gonna use time compression. This is single player, so you you know they have time compression. Whoa, what was that? A radar contact? Yeah, that's just plain. Not gonna worry about. It. The next time he comes by, he might be closer. <clears throat> he might be an enemy. Warship medium speed. Yeah, gamer kid, I agree. They shouldn't really mess with you. What do I got out here? Let's go look at it. Warship, constant distance, bearing. What? Long that shot right there with the sun on the water in the haze is almost World of Warships level of beautiful. So maybe there's two games for me to reinstall. Counter-Strike 2 and World of Warships. I don't really like to play World of Warships, if I'm to be honest, but... What's the other ship? He's just a little sub-chaser. I don't want to get into a gun duel with him. He'll still sink me. Which way is he headed? Just in case, I'm going to turn west. So he's moving from west to east. <clears throat> I'll just circle around here and avoid him. What was that over here? Oh, a convoy? Yeah. Let's see what happens. What do I got? A radio report received of a ship. Let's go check it out. I'll head south. I'm actually going to do a save as attack. Just to have a checkpoint that I can go back to if there's a problem. Okay, a merchant. Contact. merchant. Seas are rough. Long range. He's a 10,000 tonner. He's worth going for. Oh, baby. That is definitely worth going for. So let's uh, do some time compression a minute and just kind of watch where he goes. Let's turn to the right to the west. I'm using, I'm using time compression here. What I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to try to pull off a night surface attack on him. Um, let me get my keyboard where I can t see the keys so I can touch the keys I want. Apparently I can see him. Probably in this direction. Let's try to find him using this kind of like a drone view. There he is. This is kind of cheating, but it's single player. I mean, you can just do what you want. I want to see where his guns are at. He's got a bow gun. Lots of bow guns, actually. 
and a stern gun, so he's very well protected. I'm going to go to the hydrophones. I'm going to use the underwater microphones called hydrophones to listen. I want to see where he is exactly. He should be over here. I, I don't hear him. That's pretty strange. Well, <clears throat> let's use radar. I'll manually sweep. There he is. He's just about dead ahead. I should be kind of coming right straight towards him. Tell you what, I'm going to stop. I'll turn off the radar because my lookouts can see him. And I'm going to use time compression here for him to get a little closer. I mean, these are rough seas. Where is he out there? There he is. Let me lock the target. I'll bring out the recognition manual. Look what the seas are doing to my view now that I've turned off that realism. <clears throat> yeah, I was watching George stream. He was playing Counter-Strike. Let's try to get the range on this when it bobbles up. That's probably about right. It's not going to be exact. Is he really 5,000 meters out? Man, these seas are so rough. Yeah, he'd be about 5,000 out. That's not a terrible thing. He's going real slow. I mean, real slow. Not enough info, but I'll bet he's only doing maybe three or four knots. I'll plug in four for now. Actually, he's probably more about like that now. <clears> that <throat> says he's doing 37 knots. Yeah, I don't think so. He's not that far out. Let me get this right. Although I probably have a speed about right. That's probably an accurate range. Yeah, it's about 5,000 yards away. Let me see if this is going to clock him. Nope, it's still... It says he's doing 97 knots now. I'm telling you, this is super, super buggy. I'm back, Hobwild. In fact, you missed a couple hours. I've been out at... I've been at it almost three hours already. I'm probably on the tail end of the stream. I just had some food, though, so I should be good good to go for a little while here. Let me um, probably go a little bit west of south. I will dive to a depth of... Let me put the other scale back up. I'm going to dive to, I'm going to say, 90 feet. And this ship that I'm after, um, he's got a 28-foot draft. Which types of torpedoes am I going to use up here on him? I got some Mark 18s. I want to save those. I think I'll use tubes 6 and 5. So we'll go to tubes 5 and 6. I'll start with tube 5. I'm going to set my running depth for probably about 23 feet. That might be a little on the too shallow or too deep side. 
Nah, it's five feet. So even if the he, he bobbles up and down on the wa on the waves, so I'll probably still hit him with torpedoes running this deep. Let's open the torpedo tubes. There are abandoned wear sites, Hobwild. I've run into those before. They've actually got lots of really cool old games, but I, I don't know if they're... I'd rather buy from, say, Electronic Arts Origin or from uh, um, Steam. Steam has a lot of those older games for anywhere from 5 to $10. And they're even cheaper than that if you catch it during one of Steam's very frequent sales. So, anywho, this guy's going to come across about like that. I'm going to fire by hydrophones. If I can get within a half of a mile real easily here, probably. I'll use time compression for a minute. Okay, now if my original plot from when I was up there on, on the surface is correct. <clears throat> that ship should be... Oh, this is all screwed up. I'm just basically going to have to start all over. And I can't use my periscope from this depth. I'm about 88 feet deep and I need to be probably about 60 feet. I need to be about 30 feet more towards the surface to get the periscope up, but I'm going to do this attack strictly with hydrophone. I wonder something. Let me point this here. Um, hydrophone is this button. I wonder if I send the bearing. Yeah, that didn't work. Well, the range has to be set too. Anyway, I'm going to fire on him when he's probably about 20 degrees off his port beam. I'm still going to leave four knots into the solution. Why can't I hear him? I can't hear him on my hydrophones. Oh my god. Gotta be kidding me. We'll order the crew to general quarters. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I don't understand what's wrong with this game tonight. I might be going on to something better. It's better pretty soon here. It just, it's got to be playable, and I can't play it. Look how close he is. Oh, you guys. Hey, Wade, Tony, 230, thank you for the follow on kick. Appreciate you. Wish there was like an activity log on YouTube so I could see what's going on there. I know that some people have been following over there, which I really, I think that's super cool. I'd rather stream on YouTube because they allow me as many, whatever bit rate I want, you know, to stream at 4K, you know, 2160p, 60, it just, I can't hear them, you guys. I just can't hear them. Just taking a guess that he's there. Hit him with active sonar. Wow. I all I can say is wow, you guys.
And this is stuck on this thousand scale and I don't know how to flip it. No, kick is limited also. They'll let me go eight. Um, they'll let me do 1440, but 1440 is what I'm broadcasting right now. And just because it's, you know, to multicast, that's what I have to do. I could go higher if it was just one stream all the way to 4K, 2160p. But what happens is if the streaming service doesn't allow you a high enough bit rate in terms of bits per second then you're not going to have a um, a stable view. You guys will see it'll look blurry to you guys. But like on YouTube, I'm right at 4K, it's just, it's just going to look like it's on your screen. Because I can do 20,000 bit rate, 30,000, whatever, you know, uh, it takes. But you're only allowed maybe five or 6,000 on Twitch, for example. So if I'm at 4K and there's a high frame rate, there's a lot of action going on, it gets blurry. Twitch is very low quality for streaming. Okay, I've moved along a little bit. Let's see if... My hydrophones aren't working, you guys. My God. Oh. It, it hurt my propellers. It could be because how slow he is, but I'm not even seeing the green light. Usually if you point at a stationary object, the green light gives it away. Yes, yes sir. Periscope depth. So I'm just going to have to... Actually, i got to go shallower than periscope. It's going to be a smidge risky, but... There he is. Okay, I'm starting to get up to my target depth, and that should get this periscope up out of the water. Gotta wait for that wave to pass before I can measure the mass tight. This is how you calculate the range of the ship. Still a little bit of a wave out in the distance that's kind of in my way. God, I can't believe it. That says he's doing six knots. That's a better computation. So Twitch allows 6,000 bits per second. Uh, kick allows 8,000, and YouTube is basically unlimited. So... That's why I, per I, I love streaming to YouTube. It's just, I haven't built up a viewer audience there yet, but I'm working on it. It'll, it'll come. Back to four knots. I think four knots is more accurate. Man. Super hard to get a solution here. Although he's so close that I'm basically just going to be able to just pop him. I mean, it's impossible to miss. I doubt he's going seven knots, but... He's coming around. 
He's getting to where he's out in front of me. I could shoot now. The torpedoes will just turn and go over there and get him. In fact, I think I'm going to take one more measurement, and then I'm going to fire. He probably is only going four, maybe five knots. I'm trying to get the waves out of the way enough to get one last measurement here. Probably right about there. All right, let's see what the speed calc is now. That says five, so I'm gonna go 5.4 rather. I'm gonna go 5.5 .5 knots. God, I want one last measurement and then I'm firing. He's so close, it's just it's gonna be virtually impossible to miss. I'm going to fire this torpedo at a four knot speed. Oh, you know what? I bet it's too close for the torpedoes to arm. Look at that. God, you know what? Yeah, I'm just tired of it. Let's return to course. Let's see if I can hear him from here. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, the hydrophone doesn't work. Current depth, eight, zero. I can hear my torpedoes. If they're still running, they must have took off in a weird direction or went underneath of him. I'm just going to use time compression, sneak out of here. I'm not going to waste my time attacking things until the weather clears. It's utterly pointless. I'll surface the boat. We'll just go ahead one third. And it automatically reloaded my torpedo tubes, which I kind of don't mind, but I also don't like it. I'll turn that off. That was a waste of torpedoes. Let me save game, patrol, it's like whatever. But you, you can't attack in this weather. Uh, let me... Are my guys in general quarters? Yeah, they are. <sighs> what do we got? Warship moving away. I'm just going to drive around in circles. At least that's working this time. I just got to be here for 48 hours to clear this mission. And then I'll go hunting. Oh, um, crash dive. There's planes coming. I'll just stop and sit here. Tell darkness. I could just ignore these missions. I don't know why I bother with them, honestly. Is that... I think I'm just about done. Mm -hmm. New order, sir. 
deploy to the Sulu Sea. So that's the next order of business. Let me go update. My orders. Give me a minute. So now we're going to go to the Sulu Sea. Off we jolly go. Let me get my little plot. I'm surfaced. Sulu Sea can be an adventure, and honestly, I think I want to go there via the north route. Because you'll run into convoys and warships in that area frequently. Plenty of fuel, full charge. We're good to go. And I think the seas are nice. They're better. I'll be able to attack in, seas, in a sea state like this. Little crash dive because we detected an aircraft on radar. Yes, sir. I gotta look over my wheel and stuff to see important information at the bottom. Yes, sir. We'll blow ballast. Back to time compression. Since it's the middle of the night, I'm going to run with radar for a little bit. God, I go to click that and it thinks I'm trying to, you know, drag the view around. Terrible interface. They didn't have professional designers back then. They just had programmers that were told to do certain things, you know. Alright, so there is a loner. At 0453 hours, I'm going to type a note. 53. That'll be Mark 1. I better put the mark down. He's going this a ways. Which means I need to go that a ways. Oh five twenty three. Right there. I got a perfect plot from radar. And how far did he travel in thirty minutes? Just about six nautical miles. So he's cruising. He's doing twelve knots at that rate. I don't even need my calculator for that. That one I can do in my head. So... We'll set up to attack him here. We'll get within one nautical mile. Periscope depth. I'll stop. It's a sub chaser. I don't even think that I can. Let me go look at him. And that's not even a. That's just a little dumb gunboat. That thing's got a draft of 3.6 feet. I can't even get a torpedo that shallow. 
I, I'm so stupid, I didn't even realize that that was a, a warship. I'll order my ship to return to course. Is he coming after me? Oh, let me look at that again. Why did he change course and come this way? Does, does he have death charges, you wonder? I don't think he's got depth charges. Yes, sir. We'll dive to a hundred feet. He's coming after me. And I don't know how because gunboats don't have sonar. I I was submerged that whole time. He sank. How did he sink? What happened? He's dead. What just happened? Did I get credit for it? I don't think I get credit for it. He drove up to me to attack and then he sunk. What? I don't know. Don't ask me. Let's save some battery, though. <clears throat> I'm going to stay down for the daylight hours. I don't want aircraft. I don't want anybody to spot me. Well, they apparently know I'm here, and I don't know how, but... Surface the boat. You got a nice calm sea state. Let's run radar again. Just for a little bit. Oh, what is that? That just blinked and appeared. <clears throat> a slow convoy. Let's investigate. I'll put a mark on it. At 19.40 hours. 46, technically. No, it's marked on the map at 1940. That's Mark II. Did I pick him up on radar? No. I don't see the map markings. All right. Let's plot a probable course based on the radio report. Let's mark my attack distance. Remembering I like I like about a 2.0 against a convoy. And then now that I have some sense of scale because of the doodles I added to the map, I'm going to chart my attack. Just like that. Let's ring up. Let's hit the telegraph and ring up flank speed. Now, radar contact. Wait, 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 wait. I do have my radar up. I gotta turn that off. They have five escorts. Wow. The Japanese aren't playing. Look at it. You can see it's a pentagonal shape. We'll go to periscope depth here. I want to see... Oh, glassy seas. Okay, so I had the radar off. That's good. Speed one. Get in the circle. I'll stop. Sit and wait. They're coming. There they are. There's a destroyer a little bit behind to the right. That's good. I'll drive out of his way once the destroyer in front starts to pass me. At the moment, I'm going to use time compression while monitoring the plotting board. Sound operator's keeping that updated for me. 
now that I turned that feature back on in port, it's impossible to play without that. Now they're starting to get close in terms of warships, so I'm going to activate silent running to prevent the crew from making unnecessary noise that could get me busted. I'm at periscope depth, no speed. Let's see what the waters are like outside. That's behind to the right, that's straight right. I should have contacts in this basic direction. Over here, ahead to my right. There's a ship. That'll be the lead escort. He's at 50 degrees relative. There they are. Tough to identify the targets. I do think I see something juicy in that mix, though. That guy right there could very well be one of those 10,000 tonners. All right. I'm watching the time like a hawk. I'm not going to get carried away like I did last night. That was fun, though. I enjoyed chatting with Hobwild and all them. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's right. I I don't know. I want to do something here a minute. I'm going to put a mark down here. I'm going to measure this distance, and I'm just going to double check my dead reckoning. 20... Okay. Um, gosh dang it, man. I keep trying to move the mouse out of the way, and it's doing dumb stuff. It is now 0030 hours for Mark 3. Alright. We're a little shy of five hours. Four hours and 50 minutes and they have covered 24.2 nautical miles Let me move that note I'm going to go to calculatorsoup.com plug in that distance 24.2 nautical miles And 240 plus 50 is 290 minutes. Calculate. That's a speed of 5 knots. Had that all wrong. Okay, let's get back to it. Five knots kind of makes sense. They took a while to get to me, so that, that does seem to make sense. What speed have I dialed up? I think I'm creeping forward at one knot right now, right? Let me go back to time compression. Hang on. I need to speed it up to about three knots. I want to get out of the way of that destroyer. I'll stop. Time compression off. Let's do this in slow motion now. There's the leading escort. These guys are still a long ways. Yeah, that is almost positively one of those 10,000 ton tankers. Okay, let's lower the periscope. I'm in a good good position. I just have to not be discovered. 
by the destroyers, and I'm going to have a good attack here. Uh-oh. Fuck. They detected me. I'm, it's working again. Current depth one six zero. Current depth one eight zero. Current depth two zero zero. He's right on top of me. Yes, sir. Hard to start. Yes, sir. Hard to start. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. To about one forty. Oh, he's in that direction. Oh, there he is. He's about to drop. Flank speed, hard right rudder, rudder. Let's try to get my back end out from under him. Watching for his depth charge attack. Where's my stern? There it is. But their depth charge is coming. That's the big question. Back to a third speed. Okay, let's go back to the southwest. Yes, sir. New course. Two, two, three. New course. Two, two, three. Yes, sir. Let's go I'll try to pop up. This guy's still kind of close, so I might be able to pop up and get a snapshot on some of these freighters. Well, he gets turned around. Back to silent running. Two. And then 9 and 10 are my electric torps. I'm taking inventory of those right now because once I get to the surface, I might end up... Now, I'm hearing pings. We'll see what happens. Let's go all the way up with this so when I break the water, I can get to work. Especially if I see the heavy tanker. In fact, in case I run into him, let me get him ready in the recognition manual so I can plug him in to the, uh, there he is. Torpedo bearing transmitter. Passing thermal layer. Now... The minute I come over the thermal layer, I'm just pinged like crazy. Yeah. 
He's distant. He's closer. 400. He's further out. He's 600 out. Current depth, two, zero, zero. Current depth, two, two, zero. Current depth, two, four, zero. That one's further out. Where did he go? So one at 210 and one at 150. Two tens not close enough to drop. They stopped pinging. We can tuck that away. Use time compression for a minute here. I got a lot of compressed air. Let's blow ballast. Gotta watch my depth real careful here. Passing thermal layer. Now I might start to get pinged again. Better be careful I don't pop up like a bobber. Periscope depth. Oh, I hope I did that in time. What do we got out here for targets? I gotta be quick. There's that guy. There's the destroyers. Kind of came up by surprise here in a hurry. Where did that big target go here? He's not ahead anymore, this direction. So he's shining his light, kind of in my direction. Let's get him locked in. Maybe about like that. We know they're going five knots. What, 24 feet would be good. Come on, man, I gotta make this quick. I don't have a lot of time to linger up here. That's not what he is. That's a different ship, isn't it? No, that's what that is, for sure. Dang it, I forgot to switch this so I can watch it. Oh, he's turning. Oh, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and take a snapshot at him. It's worth it. I think he's going three knots, but it's more than that. Where are my torps? Did I fire my electrics? I bet I did. Oh, not paying attention. I fired off my electric torpedoes. That sucks. Let me see if I can just find them. Oh yeah, there we go. There's another one out ahead of it. That one's going to hit. Oh, baby. The other one's going to miss. That one's a hit, though. Oh, that's going to break its back. That's a lot of damage I just saw. There she goes. Oh, that torpedo hit, too. Holy... Holy shit. While we're here, let's go pick another target. They haven't gotten wise to me yet. Well, I mean, they know I'm here, but they just, they're just not pinging. Anything over here to the right? Nope. Let's lock that target. Recognition manual. Let's try to figure out what he is. No, not at all. The hell? Wrong button. Yeah, that stack. I don't know, man. That's about what that is. We'll give it a shot. 28 foot draft. We'll open two more torpedo tubes. Got to set 24 foot depth again. Fast do you think he is? Five knots? We'll leave it there. I just got two torpedo hits with, with, with that calculation. That's probably about right. I will actually plug in maybe six and a half knots for the second torpedo. I hear depth charges in the distance. Let's use a little time compression here. Oh, he turned to avoid him. Son of a gun. Ah. Continue to fire on that guy. God, I hate freaking sitting here with a steering wheel in my way. Can't see the keyboard. What type of ship is that? They're getting away from me. This is a hard angle to shoot from, for sure. Now I'm looking more behind me. The destroyers are clueless. They're all over there. I absolutely slipped them, and I'm up here with a periscope above the water. That's going to be, I believe, a tanker. Well, I could try this guy again. It's a tough angle. It's a real tough angle, but it's probably worth it. There's a lot of tonnage right there, you guys. That's maybe 10, 12 degrees, 15. It's super important that you get that right. Let's plug in some depths and open torpedo tube doors. Is he turning? Yes, he kind of is. Yes, 
He's kind of turning that way. This torpedo looks good. Second one looks less favorable, but I think this one's going to hit. Gosh, that was a tough angle. Oh, am I too deep? Nope, it's going to get it. Oh, it is too deep. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Where's that second torpedo at? What's this? I think it's a lifeboat. Yeah. Ow. Oh. That torpedo is going to miss too, though, because even though it's on target, it's at the same depth. I misjudged what that ship is. It's probably a medium, not a large. Can it go on to hit another ship? No. That's one of them big guys there. It's a 10,000 tonner. <sighs> Out of torpedoes. Well, let's tuck away these periscopes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn right 90-ish degrees. <coughs> Let me get these rear torpedo tubes open. I'm going to set these all at minimum depth. And there's four or five destroyers that are circling the area where I used to be. And I'm just going to carpet bomb them and see if I get lucky. Be to my left now. Am I correct? Yeah, I'm turning to the right. Where are they all? There's a whole bunch of them right in that area there. Look at that. I'll plug in some bogus data into the torpedo data computer just to kind of get something of a shot ready. I'm going to tell it that this thing is not moving, even though he kind of is. Get this thing to stabilize a minute. Damn, that's running. I thought I told it to quit. That's a nice little spread. Let's dive. Turn a little bit to the southwest. We can sneak away. We're still at one third speed. I'm going to watch these torpedoes go, though. Might not have spread them wide enough. Current depth, one, zero, zero. I hope I kill one of these destroyers. This destroyer on the left, look, if he picks up speed, he'll drive in front of him. Oh, they didn't spread them wide enough. It's just a miss. Out of 250 feet. Yes, sir. New depth, two, five, 
One. I do have some electric torpedoes out there, and I have no way of knowing where they're at. It's just a beehive of destroyers. I had to throw the torps at them to see if I'd get them. <sighs> it was worth a shot. Well, let me erase some doodles. That one I'll keep. Well, there's one I can get rid of there. Oh, my foot. It's kind of in a weird angle. And that hurt. Well, what did I get? A large modern tanker. So I'm not skunked. That worked out. How far would I have to get off that line? I'll go seven and a half miles to be safe. Okay. <clears throat> Use a little. Oh. Why won't it go to my plotted course? Oh, I see why. There's a checkpoint hiding under all those other lines. There we go. It looks like my plot is just a little bit east of where it's supposed to be, so let's fix that. That's more like it. Go to time compression. We'll blow ballast around the surface. What's the waters like? We'll move ahead flank. Let's secure from silent running. We'll try to get torpedoes reloaded. Well, it's not the tool I need. I need this tool. I don't know how long I'm going to have to run parallel here. Gotta watch the blue lines. Those tell you when the destroyers are coming after you. All right. Whoa, whoa. Time compression got away from me there. Okay, all the tubes are ready. That's a good sign. Let's move back onto the course. It's 0556 hours, so it'll be a submerged daylight attack. You can see the sun starting to come up right there.
Attention. Closing. Bearing. Two. Eight. Three. Long range.
Zero, zero. Torpedo missed, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, slow. Yes, sir.
your ship. Constant distance. Very eight, seven, medium range.
Ship spotted. Bearing three, four, one. Medium range. Ready, sir. Bearing one nine one long range. Yes, sir. Four, zero. Oh, yep, I wasn't even reading chat. No, I'm unmuted, but what I was talking about here is... Sorry about that, by the way. There's different mutes. 
there's lots of mutes I gotta check when that happens. So probably I had to sneeze or something and I muted it, and then when I unmuted it, it didn't unmute. But you can mute it in OBS. There's a button I can press for that if I have to suddenly sneeze or cough. But there's also physically, it's a it's an Elgato Wave 3. This is an amazing microphone. Um, it does really, really well. I don't have to put it on a boom and, you know, be like these other streamers out there that think they're Rush Limbaugh with a big microphone in their face. I, I just kind of like it where you guys can't see that mic, but yet you can hear me. And I know the signal's strong. It obviously sounds a little clearer if you're closer to the microphone, and it sounds a little touch more accurate, or I should say natural, when I talk close to it, but... Um, this microphone I use for voice chat. I don't like to use this one for the actual stream because you know you can you can puff air on it and that's obnoxious. Or you know if you have to adjust it, it makes crunching and just offensive sounds for the people that are trying to watch your stream. I actually wouldn't mind a boom if I could locate it right. There is a lot going on out there. It's nighttime. Let's go take a look. And the seas got rough. I can kind of see that even from underneath, but not terribly so. Look at that beautiful sun. You know, I live near Lake Michigan. It's about 45 minutes away, but I'm close. And... I love to go to Lake Michigan and watch the sunset. It looks like the ocean. You can't see, you know, Wisconsin or Illinois on the other side. You can't see it's too far away. So it's like just like an ocean out there. An ocean with smaller waves. Alrighty. I'm going to want to move my plot line. All right, we're on the second rotation of crew. Time compression. Oh, did they change course? They did, they turned east. They have turned east from a position right about here. I think they're kind of on a course about like this. Which fortunately for me, I, I'm on a flat can right now. I'm really starting to be concerned about my power. I'm glad I happened to check the chat to see if, you know, the... I was looking at something else. I was just looking to see if anybody was chatting. I'm like, holy cow, check it out. I should go look at Kick and YouTube while I'm at it. People don't really chat with me much at Kick and YouTube. You, YouTube people are different. They're not usually chatty. They find a live stream and they'll watch it, but um, YouTube users don't want to interact with, with the people the way, say, a Twitch viewer would. They're on YouTube because they just want to pick a video to watch, watch it, and then move on to the next video, watch it, move on, and so forth. They're not there to interact with people. You know, they're just there to, you know, um, consume content. So the fact that I am live right now and they could interact with me if I was watching that chat, which I'm kind of, I check it here and there. They're satisfied, you know, you don't need to attend to them. Like on Twitch, you know, most of us know each other here on Twitch. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. I guess the way to put it is YouTube has a bigger community. But Twitch has a better community. They're closer. All right, they might be actually trailing off to the northeast a little bit, according to that. So let me adjust that. Maybe they're going to go around that side of that little island. So I can adjust my course once I get outside of that 8 nautical mile perimeter. 
In fact, I'm going to surface right now. Yeah, the XLR, I, I didn't really want that complexity. If I'll tell you, um, I guess if you were a singer, it, there's, there's just different reasons why you'd use different types of microphones. An analog microphone that plugs into a mixer board with other audio, analog audio inputs, ensures that your singing is in sync with the music, right? Because if you're on a USB microphone, but the music is coming in on different channels... The computer is going to process the USB voice signal maybe a quarter second too late, right? It, it's, it's offset. Sometimes the offset's big and sometimes it's non-existent. It's USB. You never know how in sync the microphone is going to be with everything else. But uh, OBS for broadcasting synchronizes you know, my microphone with my camera pretty darn well. I mean, I look at the stream afterwards and it's kind of you know, right on the money. <clears throat> I'll surface a boat. I'll go to standard speed. Definitely outside of the eight mile risk. Parts are okay. The sea state is pretty damn calm. Let's keep stalking that convoy. There's still some ships to be killed. All right, so let's go. Maybe 20 degrees. Now let's try 340. Did they just despawn? I have no idea what their course is. Yeah, I've lost them. I think they despawned, honestly. They just vanished. How are we doing on fuel? Oh, plenty of that. All right. We have a merchant contact now. Let's head for it. It's 0 to 15 hours. Oh, yeah, this is probably them. I think I've reacquired the target. Yeah, I'm sure... That might be another... That's too many contacts. This is a different um, group. They're faster, too. Put a mark down. I'm quite certain that is a different convoy. I don't know if I want to go after him or not. I mean, I have the fuel to speed it up. My battery is full. Might as well. That is a good price. 150 is... Well, I bought my Elgato on sale, but these are, I don't know, 200, 250 bucks normally. They're pretty expensive. They're awesome, though. The reason I got mine is because Decker Down, if you've ever seen him hanging out in my channel, um, he's on my stream team, the casual organization of global gamers. Actually, I want to make this wider. I want to see what a... It's night, so probably a five or a six mile berth will keep me safe. I think I have an attack there. I can probably just continue like this. They are fast. Holy cow. Uh, 
I'm being pursued. This guy got suspicious and went out there and checked things out. So I'm in attack position with two torpedoes to expend. Yes, sir. Let's go to periscope depth. Yes, sir. I got out ahead of them. They're coming. Actually, I'll continue at one third. And then I'll stop now that I'm at periscope depth. Now nah, they're not close enough yet. I will save attack. <clears throat> case this goes pear shaped. But yeah, Decker Down uses this microphone. I noticed I, I was watching him stream. And he had, you know, no headset, no nothing. And he sounded great. And I asked him. This is when I was really new to the channel. Hadn't really quite gotten to know him. I'm like, dude, where's your microphone? He goes, well, it's down on my desk. And I said, why does it sound so good for something that's, you know, not visible so far away? And he explained it to me. He says, well, it's an Elgato, and I use the Elgato. I use um, noise canceling from NVIDIA Broadcast. NVIDIA Broadcast is awesome. I don't need a green screen. This is, I have one, but I don't really need to put light on it and adjust it right and get it set up in OBS right. I don't need to do a chroma key. Just NVIDIA Broadcast takes my camera and cuts the background out. And it does incredibly good noise canceling with this microphone. It's incredibly good how well it works. So I've got to keep an eye on this time compression. Did they change course? Or, or am I that far off here? Let's reverse it by one third speed. Wow. Contact warship closing. Bearing two, mm. two. Oh my god, you have three cubbies, and they all have racing rigs in them? Oh my god, dude, that's a little excessive. It's cool, though. I must admit, it's pretty freaking cool. So I'm actually doing something unique here. Let me put a little left rudder in. I'm in reverse, backing back up into their path. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rudder. I'm going to go midships here. Let's take a look out back. I think behind to my right, maybe at 150, there should be a destroyer in this area. There he is. And I should have the convoy over here. Oh, look at that. 10,000 tonner. These are my favorite. There's another 10,000 tonner there. And there's one right there. Oh, baby. What's that? Destroyer? No. About a 5,000 tonner. I am in a really good spot. That guy's going to come by close. He's going to be real close. And the way that the light is on him from the moonlight? Wow. Let's start getting things ready, guys. I'll open all my torpedo tubes. Oh. Uh, large modern tanker, here we come. I'm just gonna, they're moving fast. I'm gonna just 
just from experience now, I'm going to say we got a nine knot ship approaching. And probably 30 degrees off his port bow. And he's probably about five or six K out. He's, he's, well, maybe not quite that much. 3,200. Still backing my submarine into attack position in reverse. I got lots of time to make this all happen. So, I'll go to time compression here for a moment. I'll stop. Nine is an overestimate of speed. I can see that now by looking at the torpedo bearing transmitter. That ship's coming right smack at me. Let me get back in reverse. Are there any more of those? Because if there's two of them, sometimes I can kill these with one torpedo hit. There's one out there in the distance, and I might take a poke at him. Yeah, let me do that. Oh my gosh, this is dastardly. Let me get these two torpedoes set up for 24. I should have did this earlier, knowing I was going to be targeting these 10,000 tonners. God, he's so hard to see at that distance. About 15 degrees off his port beam, so that's 75 degrees off his port bow. Eight knots might be right. Golly, get those waves out of my way, son of a gun. Yeah, he might be going faster than that now. That has him at 10 knots. I think that might be more like it, because, man, it, it took me quite a bit to get my end around on him. That's too fast. That's very much too fast. This should put him at 9. No, it put him at 11. I'm going to put him at 9, because I think 9 knots is how fast he was going. I'm going to take one more measurement, and then I'm going to fire at that more distant target. Seven knots. What are you doing to me, game? Oh, I got to get ready to shoot at him. I got to get my shot off on this guy quicker than I am. This isn't working out real well, you guys. I gotta watch what my, when I click this, he's actually going slower than I think. He probably actually is going eight knots. That has him at four, but no, I'm going to plug in eight knots, maybe even eight and a quarter, eight to eight and a half. And I'm going to fire on him, then I'm going to come over here and reacquire this target. He's so close. I had one third. That guy. His angle on me is probably about like that. What speed do I have him at? Yeah, 40. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. Nine knots for now. Nine hundred range. I don't think I have that range right. Let me try it again. He's slower than the speed that I think for sure. I'll plug in eight knots. Yes, sir. 
command my ship to stop. Or not, I don't think so. Six, and fire. I'm getting pinged! Ow! Why? How do they figure me out so damn easy? I haven't hit nobody yet. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this ship here, except just freaking take a guess at him. He's evading. Gosh damn, man, these angles. What's going on out here? I gotta look around. Where am I being affronted? Just blasted that ship, man. Oh, I just nailed him. I wonder if that thing is even going to be able to go get him. Alrighty, let's take her to ape. Done everything I can do. Did I even hit anybody? Just that medium old tanker. I missed all the big guys. He's right on top of my ass. Am I hard to starboard? I am. Good. I'm trying to get out from under him. He's dropping. That's a good depth charge. That one could do some damage. Midships. Let's try to drive away from that. I'm going to drop decoys here. Those are rattling my feelings. Well, let's escape to the... What direction are we going now? North? Let's go west. I'm absolutely disarmed. I have no ammo left. Yeah, I can take a look at those here in a minute. This is one of those games that doesn't take, you know, that much of your attention unless you're really into a particular battle. Deverloon, that's a terrible situation you're in. Oh my god. No food. You know, around my house, I have what what I would consider, I, I guess you would characterize it as emergency food. Just something simple, that, you know, in a can or whatever. Damn. They're still on my ass. Let's go deeper. Trying to figure out where they're at. One nine zero, and he's dropping depth charges there. Let's see if he's above me. No. Yeah. 
they still got me locked. When they don't stop pinging, they got you locked. I'm going to start pinging them to see how far they are. Pinging has stopped. One's behind me. I'm going to call that 190. This one here is probably at about 260. Let's go look at it or listen to it. One at 260. It's 400 meters away. That one's further out. 1800. I'm 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 opening up the gap here, putting some distance on them. I'll use time compression for a moment. Where's he's behind my right? Right there. Still at one third speed. I don't see where he's dropped. He's working with his rudder. No water bombs. So fun to be able to use the periscope to watch him. That's unrealistic, though. In the real war, that I don't think that that happened. Not from any of the War Patrol reports or books that I've read. <sighs> Let me take a look at this picture that you sent along, gamer kid. Computer's lit up nice. Man, you take Discord serious. Look at that. Got a whole monitor of Discord going. You're talking to people on it, too, by the looks of it. That's the one thing I never really got too into, you know, as, as connected as I am to a bunch of people on Twitch and on Discord or whatever. I, I don't usually just jump into somebody's Discord, start hanging out with people. I'm more of a loner than that. But your computer is cool, man. I like how lit. I mean, it's literally lit. That's cool. I like it. And then... Camera with the lighting. I don't like that kind of lighting. I do have some of that lighting. I'm using some right now, but it, that looks like it's shining smack in your eyes. That looks painful. Look at the little nook. That's 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 cool, man. Look at that little display. It's decorated with Easter eggs too. Very thematic. <laughs> that's cool business, man. Seriously. I should post pictures of my stuff. People would be kind of curious about it, especially the rig. I built it myself. It's starting to show its age a little bit. I built it in 2019 in the. God, I got so many just hundreds and hundreds of hours, thousands maybe even, in this seat that it's starting to kind of wear a little bit. Anyway, that was a pretty aggressive defense that those uh, destroyers put up. Let me see if I can time compress myself out of here, though. Yeah, they've lost me. Let's turn south. 
How much power do I have? They're still kind of in my area. I think one of the things that helped me escape was the um, decoy that I launched. I wonder what happened with all those torpedoes I shot. Was my firing solution that bad against all those 10,000 tonners? That was odd. I'll tell you the one thing that you made me hip to, gamer kid. And I'm grateful to it to this day. I, I use it constantly. Is um, um, touch portal. It's utterly amazing, dude. Touch portal is 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 amazing stuff. Let me surface the boat. Oh, there's another freaking convoy out there. You gotta be kidding me. Let's avoid them. I'm unarmed. I mean, not unarmed completely, but I mean, I have guns, but... Let me put a plot down. Um, another convoy. Let's avoid them. Let's go to full speed. Try to get away. Ship spotted. Bearing two. All righty. You know, the one thing I don't think I've done is I haven't. You know, I didn't do too well that last attack, unfortunately, but I did get one ship. Relieve the watch. Let's update the scoreboard, shall we? Take credit for it. That's my fourth kill. We are now up to 29,000. Hang on, 794. Alrighty. Well, it's enjoyable, man. Full battery, still full fuel. My problem is I've expended my torpedoes. Very target-rich environment out here. Let's crash dive. That's airplanes. Yes, sir. Let's surface. Sound contact. Warship. Medium speed closing. Where is it? Oh, it's... There it is. He'll pass behind me. I'll get away from him. Ship moving fast, closing. Ain't worried about it. Oof. What a day, chat. Refit complete. Let's take a look at the situation. Our 
getting reloaded. Then you just refit a second time and it fills all those torpedoes back in for you even while you're loading. It's pretty cool. Well, we're full of everything. Let's, um... Clouds are crazy. Well, let's save game patrol and we'll overwrite that. And we're all ready for tomorrow's stream, which I got some running around to do in the daytime. It won't take long. And I think when I come back from that, I'm going to go work on the setup for Martinsville for the community. Richmond's over with, and now we're on our way to Martinsville, so um, I wanted to work on the setup. I should have worked on the setup for Richmond, too, last week. I should have took the time to do it. It wouldn't take wouldn't have taken much. It was a good set. Probably had to do some work with it because of the way the gearing is now, but that would be about it. Then Martinsville should be about the same, and I kind of... That's why I left everything kind of set up like this. Um, I have a little work to do with OBS and Touch Portal. I, I got some, you know, getting things put together for the sake of uh, uh, um, an iRacing type stream instead of Silent Hunter 4. So maybe during the day tomorrow when I get my little running around done, I'll put a couple hours into that. Then I'll take a break and come back again for the nighttime to continue the mission. It's already February 1944, so we're kind of cruising right along. I got good torpedoes on board. Uh, things are starting to get interesting. It's starting to get different, uh, difficult. The Japanese are definitely a little more effective with um, their ASW now. In fact, it got sunk a couple of times. Some of it was just kind of my mistake. Some of it's bugs. The game not, you know, saying, hey, you know, enemy warship spotted, you know, and going to 1X like it's supposed to. It's, um, it was a weird night. The game was acting weird. But ever since I docked and redid my ship and went back out for my next war patrol, things have been okay. It hasn't been bad. So, Gamer Kid, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out tonight, Deverlund, and um, all the other people who chatted. I've got to back out. I'm going to take a quick look, though, to see who's out there and what's going on, at least in, in terms of Twitch. I don't raid with um, Kick or YouTube. I don't even know if you can raid in YouTube. Can you, can you raid with YouTube? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I'm just going to take a quick peek at who is streaming. See if I can f shuffle some of you lurkers out there. Let somebody else make some ad revenue off in you. I'll tell you what, you know what, we were talking about it earlier. Um, we were talking a little about World of Warships and how, how um, I don't really care to play it that much, but it is fun to watch. And I got a stream team buddy. Named Obi Wan Fashobi. He's cool ass people. He's hanging out. He usually hangs out with the boss. I don't know if he's doing that right now or not, but we're going to go lurk with him. How about that, you guys? We'll raid Obi Wan Fashobi. And I will be back. I'm, I'm looking to be back tomorrow in the late afternoon, early evening. And then um, coming back for. Um, a nightcap stream. So I think we're looking at probably a maybe two to four hour stream in the evening hours and then another four hour stream here at nighttime. I put five hours on the clock tonight. Time flies, you know, when you're having fun. You guys know the drill. So yeah, I don't think you can rate on YouTube either. I'm not sure. So appreciate you, Gamer Kid. Appreciate everybody coming and hanging out and lurking. I hope you enjoyed. A real naval sim. I mean, this is just unmatched. 17-year-old game and nobody's been able to imitate it in terms of, you know, 
despite its bugs and flaws, it, it's still the best show in town when it comes to naval combat, as far as I can tell. There are some new games coming out, by the way. But, um, all right, you guys. So, yeah, I appreciate Gamer Kid. Yeah, it's it's fun to play. It's fun to watch. You know, it's it's a neat game. But look, we'll see you Obi-Wan for Shobi. You guys have a good night now. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Thank you.